Let's start with the basic section. In this section, you will work with uh, some of the commonly used functionalities of XRA, such as OpenMF dataset, which opens multiple files at uh, the same time, concatenate datasets, group by, slicing, and selecting data, save as net CDF. Let's install the complete version of XRA, including additional dependencies for advanced functionalities. Then pip install importable metadata version 4.13. Now let's import the necessary libraries for file handling, plotting, downloading data, and working with the X array. For example, import globe for file path manipulation, import matplotlib.pyplot as plt for plotting, import url lib.request for downloading data from urls, finally import xarray as xr for working with graded geospatial data. Download the data from 2011 to 2014. Let us start simple. Open data for two years and concatenate them in one file. Then display the data set for the year 2011. That's how our data looks like. Then display the data set for the year 2012. Concatenate the data for 2011 and 12 along the time dimension to create a single data set for both years. Then display it. Now let's try something similar but through a more efficient way. Display the data set for 2011 to 2014. Now let's focus on the 2012 and extract the monthly precipitation sum and make a simple plot of one of the months. First, we group the data by month and sum the values, then plot the first month's precipitation data. That's the output. The above plot is quite simple and not high quality. You will now develop a more personalized 
plot for all the 12 months as follows. First, import calendar. We will use uh, this library to easily add the month name to subplot titles. Then we will develop a land mask data array that we can use to mask out uh, the NAN values. Next, create a figure with a specialized size and white background. Adjust the, the spacing between subplots. Define the number of rows and columns for subplots. Loop through each month to create a subplot. Then add a color bar at the bottom. Then finally save the high resolution version of the figure. Our output for monthly subplots. from January to December. And the legend is precipitation millimeter. Now let's define a boundary of a rectangular area of interest approximately similar to the state of Kansas. Top for northern boundary, bottom for southern boundary, left for western and right for eastern boundary. Then calculate the spatial average over the latitude and longitude dimensions. Now let's plot the cumulative daily precipitation of the selected area for each year. To make things easier, let's drop the February 29th from any leap years in the record. Here is we go. Here is how the result will look like. Now we can easily save that output as a NetCDF file using X-Array. Now plotting the annual cumulative precipitation for each year from 2011 to 2014. That's the timeline of annual cumulative precipitation in Kansas. Each color represents a year from 2011 to 2014. You could also do a little more modification to revise the x tick levels and show the exact month and the values instead of Julian day number. Try if you can figure it out for yourself. 